about that. Okay. Okay. Now there are my slides, and now there's my face. I make sure that people are interested in my face. Thank you. 
Okay, so good afternoon everyone. So this is the last class of uh, Machine Learning Basic Principles course. I know you are all here because of that. Uh, and now since all these exercise rounds are over, so now this time we are concentrating on the data analysis problem. And uh, what we will do is that first I have some slides about Submitting the report and peer grading. Uh, I will go through those. Uh, Alex also asked to webcast these and record these. So Halloween is coming, so horror videos are needed. Uh, but after this part is over, so then we continue. So whatever you have for the data analysis project, so so we are I are here. I, I think Pradet will come and, and you can ask questions. Okay, but let's start with the slides. Um, well, general, uh, well, we have lots of information on the my courses page, and we have lots of questions and answers now in the Slack. So, if something is bothering your mind, so maybe it's good to check if you can find the answer in these two sources. Uh, and about grading, uh, this is something that you can find this this same information in my page, but in the problem description document. But it is just a reminder. So you will get 300 points from the altogether, or can get, and uh, 180 points from, from the project report. And here is the distribution of which part of the report you get, how many how many points. So it gives you an idea that what are the important ones. So describing data analysis, describing the methods you use, why you use those ones, and the results. So those are the where you get most points. Uh, and there's the Kaggle competition. Or actually two Kaggle competitions and you get 60 points if you beat the benchmarks there and especially this log log benchmark seems to be an easy one so currently everyone who has submitted there has has been doing better than our benchmark the accuracy is a bit tougher one but still but most people have have uh, done that one as well and then we have this special bonus. So for the top five teams uh, in the Kaggle competition, they get 30 extra points. But then uh, also one part of the points you get from the peer grading. And peer grading is something that I will be telling more about. This is how it is done. It will start after the deadline. So deadline for submitting the project report is Friday this week 6 p.m. so a bit more than two days still time to do the report but so during the next week so then there's the grading uh, start and more about that in in a while um, 330, so well, it's extra points. So 100, 180, 60 plus 60, so that's 300, right? Oh, yeah, it's uh, 60 from the point. Um, I want to Ah, okay. So 60 yeah. altogether yeah. from the two, right? Yes. But this 30 is something extra bonus on top of, of the 300. Okay, so the project report, it's a Python notebook. Uh, it's either a single uh, Python notebook file, if you can have everything there, or if you have something else like separate image files, or somebody was asking about separate uh, Python files. So it's fine to put all of that into package. So in my courses, you can return one file 
but we don't have limitations for the file type. Expect that to be either Python notebook file or one zip package, which is goes everything. And we expect that your report has mutable code. So we want the people who are doing the evaluation in the peer grading, well, basically help you uh, to try to go out that the report is executable. Not to run every single code, code cell from beginning to end, but uh, maybe randomly pick some of them and the code can be executed. And there have been some questions about this, that if you are using some uh, some exotic library, or if you are doing some heavy computation, you have some uh, like GPU farm in your use, and you, you have some heavy uh, deep learning method, for example. So it is good to write some comment as a word for the people doing the evaluation. So generally, it's, it's always a good idea to the life of the evaluators easy so they are more happy with your report and they are likely to get better points but but if there's something uh, if some parts of your code is some difficult or or heavy to run so write a warning what are the requirements for the contents Uh, problem specification document. If I jump to that for a while. So, what is expected from the board? So, the requirements are basically these ones. It has certain characters, start from title, a small abstract, introduction. Data analysis, telling about your methods and experiments, <coughs> telling about your results, finally some discussion and references. And appendix, well, if there's something you need to put into appendix, you can have it there. If your report is fine without appendix, that's okay. So just leave it empty or remove the whole, whole section. Okay, and here is the same which I, I showed. So basically, requirements for what needs to be in the report. So it, it's written down here. And uh, then, um, my course is actually, it's a tool courses tool so it, it handles every student as a separate uh, entity so so basically everybody needs to submit a report if you have been doing the the project in, in a group of two people so both the group members need to submit the same report into my courses and uh, group members basically everybody gets these uh, reports evaluated in the peer grading. So, so my course is handles people separately. Uh, the group structure is there so group members don't get each other's report to be evaluated, which would be stupid because it's their own report. But that's the only thing uh, regarding the groups that my understands. So remember to submit or make, make sure that group members submit the same report. Then, uh, how does the report submission look like there? So if you go in my courses, it's there in, in this. Uh, in this section, you click here. And you get into this kind of view. Uh, and now here actually here is the link for submission. So this is a bit hidden. Some people have had difficulties in finding it. It's here. And as you click this one, 
you get into this kind of screen. Uh, well, actually, here is your record, so you can you can upload it here. There is a title. Write something there. It doesn't what you write there, so it's it's just um, well, it's a mandatory title text. There is also some description. You can write something here, but it's you can leave it empty as well. And one important thing, so so for trading, we want the reports to be anonymous. And the text which you here, so this is something that goes for the evaluator. So make sure that whatever title you, use, whatever text you write here, and what file name you have for the report. So make sure that anonymous. They don't include your name or your group number or anything like that. Then after you have submitted your report, so so it's, it's before the deadline, so you can go and edit your submission if there's need for that. Okay, so that's about the submission of the report. And I think some 30 people have already submitted their report, so it seems to be working. Then we go into peer grading, but well, some, some questions about the report or submission of the report. Basically, the evaluators are being the okay. We'll go a bit later for that, but for. for there is a set of questions, and there is one question about the appendix, and they are they are being asked, okay, is there an appendix which is good and relevant, or is the appendix missing because there is that. Mm -hmm. So if the peer graders do what they are supposed to do, so if they wrote this good without appendix, so they give you full full points. Okay. Now going into peer grading, so so what is it? So everyone who submits the report gets three to four reports of others to be evaluated. Uh, the whole peer grading play, plays in my courses, so it's a functionality of my courses. Why we are doing that? Well, first of all, in order to get all the large amount of, of reports evaluated possibly have hundreds of them, but also peer grade very good learning experience for each of us. Uh, first of all, you have now solved the problem yourself, and then you see a couple of examples of how others have done the same thing. So it's it's interesting to see how others have done thing. And another thing is the peer grading, evaluating the work of others, very important skill in, in working life. Both academic world and industrial life world. And how so so this is how I see that would do. So first you get the reports to be evaluated, so download it. Then um, you might want to open a text file that while you are reading the report, so you might write your own comments there. That's that might be a good idea. But then you are supposed to try some code cells so that they can be did. And then there is a set of rubric questions. Uh, there are 23 questions. These are multiple choice questions, so it should be pretty straightforward to answer to those. Um, and questions are related to the requirements which I just showed you. So it should be pretty straightforward to see that what questions related to what and, and uh, how it should be should be yes. So you can run the code wherever you like, so Jupyter Hub so then you need to upload or or if you have local 
some uh, like an actor can run it. Okay. Uh, yes, and then there are these multiple choice questions, and then there at the end of the of the sheet for some text so you can write some uh, textual comments there or if you have written your comments in a text file attach this text file so either one is fine and how does the peer grading like so when we go into the assessment phase meaning after the deadline uh, next Friday evening so the view will look like this so here this person has got three reports to be they are visible here and there's a saying assess so one by one so go there press the this button and what happens next is that it you get like this so here on the so here you can download the python notebook file and here you can see these uh, rubric questions here's a sample of the first you see see a, a sample of a real question so we had some requirements for the title some instruction text text which is the same in the in this uh, problem specification document and one simple question so is there no title at all is there a bad title or a good title good title meaning that it follows these requirements so that's that's it so that's the first question and they are three of these and at the end of the so there's this text box where you can write some text comments or if you have written, written your comments in it so you can attach it here and how about these these text comments so what is it supposed to write there so first of all the idea of of this whole thing is that that uh, everybody learns from this both the people who have written, written the report as but as well you who are giving the comments so be constructive in all your feedback uh, if you have some positive or negative observations about the report or the work done so write those write down those ones you might want to give some right justification why you gave good points or something or bad points and avoid some sarcastic comments if you want to send sarcastic comments so you can send them to me i'm i'm used to those i know some people who have uh, developed the level of sarcasm to the level of of an art okay but avoid sarcastic comments for for the people you are evaluating and i think all in all this is very valuable uh, learning experience both for those who are evaluating and those who are doing it so so do this seriously serious but uh, but we hope that this this is not too at least we have done our best to make it, it, it easy for you and a reminder so so some points about the quality of your feedback as well how this is uh, calculated so it's the 60 points which i mentioned um, there's a link and behind the link you can you can find uh, the algorithm which is being used for that but basically the idea here is that if somebody goes and gives some random feedback so so then he or she gets bad points but if all the evaluators are agreeing and giving uh, a line evaluations so then everybody gets gets uh, good points but so if you want to know the details so go and see.
If there are some problems with peer grading, uh, for example, if you open the document or, or something like that, so so we have an email address where you can flag this kind of findings. However, this is this is just for us to record that, uh, let's say, collect the which we need to tackle. So Pradeep and I will be will be dividing these ones. If you have some questions where you need answers, so please use Slack. So the good old project channel there. But if you have some issues with a particular one particular report, so then send email to this email address. Then, after the evaluation phase is over, so we will see the feedback which your report has received. And uh, in order to make sure that, that the evaluation goes, goes fairly, so uh, after you, you have checked your feedback, so it's possible that you disagree on something. You feel that you did uh, perf perfect work in this, <coughs> the evaluators didn't understand it and, and for some reason gave uh, more for you. So if this happens, so you can also use the same email address. But then please write down what the issue and, and write down some reasoning for that. So why, why you see that you would have got more, more points from some. Okay, and then we have a seminar when the top five teams present the, their solutions. That's on Tuesday, next I think we have also some additional uh, presentations, but, but anyway, it's, it's mainly for this top, uh, top team. And since there's not that much time to prepare, so it's, it's fine to just take your notebook and walk through and, and explain with that uh, how you did, if, if you are to get into this top five group of teams. You can, of course, some slides if you like. And then finally, there will be a feedback for the uh, data analysis project as well. Pradeep and I, I will probably prepare it and lo launch it during this week. So please, after you have done everything, go and give us feedback. So we are very curious to see how you see that this went and how this can be improved for, for coming years. Okay, so that was all. Yes? Uh, because the members submit uh, individual, individual uh, reports, yes. but group members have different scores than your person. Yes, it is because it's different evaluators, so they it's possible that they get different scores. But let's say I, I assume it will not be too different. Yeah. If something like that happens, so you can always flag and send email this address and see so that this is. My friend gets barely better, uh, better <laughs> than uh, I can wrestle with him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. if, if Maybe he's no longer. <laughs> that, but but you can do that if you like. I assume that the difference between the two scores is minimal. So if it's very minimal, I think it's not fair to ask us questions to review those minimal points. So be also generous to us and <laughs> ask when we. Yes, we really hope that this. The idea is that TAs don't treat the report, but, but all of you will be doing that. We hope that this goes fluently because limited amount of resources to fix things with but of course we do do it if that's needed okay uh, any other questions uh,
<laughs> okay, but maybe it's start to stop our.